So my project today is to install an external ignition system on my truck. So I purchased this uh, MSD brand um, multi-spark ignition. So I'm going to install it on the firewall back there. And so I'm going to replace what is essentially an aftermarket uh, HEI system. Basically what was happening, I installed a new MSD coil uh, looking for better spark uh, to make the engine run better with a large spark plug gap. The coil definitely did help, but the external ignition is going to, I believe, make it much, much more drivable and make it a lot easier for me to tune my carburetor. I've got it dialed in pretty well right now, but better spark is definitely going to help a lot, I'm sure. So, so to install that box, I'm going to remove my distributor cap and rotor and then replace the existing ignition module that's on the base of the distributor with the plug system that connects to the box that I'm going to install. So I removed the distributor cap with the coil and uh, spark plug wire still attached as there's plenty of room to move it over. And now I'm going to remove the rotor and then remove the ignition module. So this is the factory ignition module that I removed from the vehicle. Um, so to be replaced with the ignition box. So this pigtail here, complete with grommet, is going to go into the distributor to essentially replace, replace this module so I can connect to the new MSD box. So after um, putting the pigtail in, you can see the pigtail coming out of the distributor to uh, basically connect to the MSD box. Put the uh, rotor and distributor cap back on and secured that. And you also see they've got my wire for the tack there as well as the ignition wire there. Uh, the ignition on wire coming from the ignition key. So next was I figured out where I wanted to mount the MSD box. Put it against the firewall, mark where the holes were, pre-drilled 1 8 inch holes. And then use the provided uh, self-tapping sheet metal screws to install the unit onto the truck. So now all I have to do is connect all of the wiring. So I'm about to do the wiring now. So I cut the pigtail off of the old ignition so I can solder and shrink, uh, heat shrink uh, the connections together for the MSD unit. So it's got the two trigger wires, but the ground wire is separate. So I need to run a ground wire to the block. So what I did is I uh, got this uh, bolt proper size bolt, lock washer from my old motor and washer. And then I took the um, pigtail that they provided and cut the end off of it. So essentially what's going to happen, I'm going to solder uh, the pigtail to it to make it very easy to make a really good ground. So once I solder this together, then I'll be able to make a really nice connection to the head and it's properly grounded to the motor. So there's the pigtail that I brazed to the washer that I'm going to use the bolt to attach it to the head so it makes a really nice ground and I'm just going to cut the wire to length, the proper length and then solder the connection together and heat shrink it to the ground on that connector. So I made uh, all of the uh, solder connections to connect all of the lead wires together. Uh, soldered the, um, the harness to the coil, soldered the ground ring harness onto the ground, and for now I just ran the positive um, to the battery directly like this. I need 10 gauge wire to extend it so I can route it along the side here, but I don't have any 10 gauge wire, so I'm just going to do this for now. It'll be fine for now, drivable, all of that sort of thing. Uh, and then I'll extend it properly when I get back to work and I can buy some uh, some 10 gauge wire. So now I'm going to test it out uh, right after I check my spark plugs. 
I want to make sure I don't have iridium or some sort of a fancy spark plug. I've got some basic AC Delco ones to put in, uh, in their interim just in case. But I'm going to check my plugs and see where I'm at there before I actually fire it up. So on the right hand side, there are the plugs that were in the truck. It's an NGK brand of spark plug and it's got a very fine electrode and so forth. And when I'm running this much current to it with this new box, I don't think that's going to be very good performance. So I'm going to install very basic AC Delco ones, which I purchased. So these basic AC Delco copper chlors are going to conduct lots of electricity, make a massive spark and hopefully correct the issue. So I'm pulling out all these NGK plugs that I had in there and I'm going to replace them with the Delco ones before I fire it up. I'm also going to gap the plugs to 60,000. So this um, ignition is so strong that even if the ground clip were missing, it'll arc to the head. So 60,000 should be no problem at all for this ignition. And um, we'll go from there. All right, so the entire system is installed. Got it buttoned down and all the new plug wire plugs are in gapped and in so now i'm going to do the start and make sure it actually works Get the keys and we have ignition Those are the steps to install uh, an ignition box. So now I've got it running and everything's good. So now I'm going to set the carb jetting again because I noticed on my test drive it was running quite rich, blowing some black smoke when I really got on the gas. So I uh, turned in until they were seated both um, mixture air fuel mixture screws and then open them one and a half turns which is the factory setting to start and then I'm going to start the motor check the vacuum and I'm going to keep leaning it out as the vacuum increase so make small adjustments to increase the vacuum as per reading on the gauge until I achieve maximum vacuum so I'm going to adjust it in small increments uh, closing each of the mixture screws and allowing the vacuum to increase until it gets to a maximum point. So that's how I'm going to tune the motor. So I'm going to start it up and see how much vacuum it pulls at idle one and a half turns out. vacuum so I'm going to lean it out to uh, increase the vacuum until it reaches as much as the engine's capable of pulling. So the maximum vacuum I could reach is about 18 and a half pounds. So that's the maximum vacuum I could get which considering the dual plane intake and so forth that's what I could do. 12 degrees of timing is what I've got in it. So I'm going to give that a go and uh, see how it goes on the street. 